All right, here they go again. So on Fox, they are either preparing for Donald Trump to withdraw from the debate uh, next week with President Biden, or when Donald Trump just gets trounced at the debate, they need an excuse that, oh, it must be because it was rigged, it's unfair, or President Biden's on drugs. That's actually what they are saying. So I previously reported how this past week, Sean Hannity was interviewing Donald Trump's daughter-in-law who chairs the RNC, and they were talking about how, oh, it's likely that President Biden's going to be on drugs and it's going to be unfair. It's whining. Um, then last night, you had Hannity talk about how CNN is just a propaganda network. They need to get their act together. They're out there pushing lies, and they need to fix this before the debate. And again, what he's trying to do right here is lay the groundwork for Donald Trump to pull out of the debate. Here, play this clip. All right, we are only eight days away from the first presidential debate, and I think it is past time for the moderators, you know, fake Jake Tapper on fake news CNN, fake Dana Bash, uh, to get their network in check, because right now, we are witnessing North Korea levels of nothing but outright propaganda. And as you can see, they're not doing journalism. They lie, they say they're journalists. No, they're not. They're state-run media. They're certainly not holding truth to power. The state-run media is simply repeating White House talking points, all in what is a desperate attempt to defend their chosen candidate. Take a look. And this all comes on the heels of a new Fox poll that's showing that President Biden is now the front runner in the election, according to the Fox poll. The Fox poll. It has an 11 point shift of independent voters moving to President Biden following Donald Trump's criminal conviction. The prior poll had Donald Trump plus two, it's now President Biden plus nine, with the top issue being the preservation and protection of our democracy, another major issue, women's reproductive rights, another major issue, get this, normalcy. And one of the things that Fox is also trying to push is what I like to call the heads I win, tails you cheat or it's rigged strategy. And so they say, on the one hand, President Biden, they do these things called cheap fakes where they have like, they cut off and splice the footage to see like, oh, look, President Biden is talking to himself at the G7. How embarrassing. No, if you actually just expand the frame, President Biden, you can see him talking to a skydiver who just landed. But Fox and the Murdoch properties crop that to make it look like President Biden's talking to himself or they'll edit the footage right before President Biden says the name of his Homeland Security Secretary so it looks like he forgets the name. Or what they'll do is they'll have, they'll cut a clip where uh, President Biden's walking off the stage and former President Obama has his arm around him and they'll cut the clip in a way to make it look like, like President Biden needs help to get off the stage. So they push that, but then they also push Donald Trump is going to lose the debate uh, and President Biden's going to perform in the debate with superhuman qualities because they say President Biden is on performance enhancing drugs like Provigil and Adderall. They, they, that's what they're, they're pushing that he takes performance enhancing drugs because they need to come up with some conspiracy when President Biden does great at the State of the Union, when he does good at the debates, when he performs well, when people get to see him speak. They have to have some justification for their audience. Like, why are you lying to us? Oh, it must be drugs. It must be provigil. It must be Adderall. It must be steroids. They, they literally lean into that, which also tells you it's projection and confession that likely Trump is going through, is, is taking that kind of stuff. Because with all of them, it's always projection and confession. Well, here at the Midas Touch Network, we prepared this. Because of Fox trying to say, oh, Biden's forgetting names and this and that, okay. We just did a supercut of Donald Trump's inability to basically remember anybody's names. So take a look at the supercut we showed, and this is why Fox 
and their hosts and all right-wing media right now is trying desperately to come up with excuses why Trump is going to lose this debate or if Trump decides to back out of the debate, why? Let me show you this. I think you should take a cognitive test like I did. I took a cognitive test and I aced it. Dr. Ronnie, Dr. Ronnie Johnson, mm. Does everyone know Ronnie Johnson, congressman from Texas? He was the White House doctor. How good did Elise Stepanak do? You know, we've endorsed Dr. Oz. We've endorsed JP, right? J.D. Mandel, and he's doing great. Jimmy Connors is a, Jimmy, Jimmy Connors is good. He's also happy. Mike Bolton, John Bolton is here. Mike Bolton, as you know, is in Russia. And there was progress today. I look forward to solving it. Thank you, Steve. It was Trump's fault. It's always Trump's fault. Can it ever be like a Rick Gates's fault? I mean, uh, it's always Trump's fault, Rick. By the way, they never report the crowd on January 6th. You know, Nikki Haley, Nikki Haley, Nikki Haley, you know, they did you know they destroyed all of the information, all of the evidence, everything deleted and destroyed all of it, all of it because of lots of things like Nikki Haley is in charge of security. We offered her 10,000 people. Uh, we have some of our great business leaders and leaders, period, right behind me. Uh, I may ask Marilyn Lockheed. Uh, we appreciate it very much, Tim Apple. Yes, please, Mr. Kurt. Thank you very much for your time. You know, what's interesting. Joe Biden won against Barack Hussein Obama. Has anyone ever heard of him? Arrest their leading political opponent, and leading by a lot, including Obama. It was, I'll tell you what, you take a look at Obama and take a look at some of the things that he's done. And Putin, you know, has so little respect for Obama that he's starting to throw around the nuclear war today. You heard that, nuclear. Thanks for giving your first comments on the bill on this show. It means a lot to us. We appreciate it, sir. Thanks a lot. You have a deal. Thanks a lot. Bye. Joe Bright, this guy is just the worst. So will Christian ever run for president against you? And you heard the prime minister, you heard Bette you know, Maybe have uh, Matt Blum speak next because he's been so incredible in so many ways. He fights so hard. He loves his state. He loves the people. A new, think of it, a new branch of the United States military, United States Armed Forces called Air Force. I never talked about that. That's something we never talked about. But well, what we just saw, we just left pleasure. And a very big hello to a place where we've done very well. Sioux Falls. Thank you very much, Sioux Falls. And thank you. So Sioux City, let me ask you, and the worst president in the history of our country who is cognitively impaired, we would be in World War II very quickly. The worst president in the history of our country will be a fading nightmare. He'll be a fading, I have fading memory. You know, potential sponsors pitch us all the time, so when they tell me they have a perfect product, I let them know that I'll be the judge of that. The Perfect Gene folks sent me a pair of their jeans and real talk, I put them through hell and back and they're flawless, stretchy, comfortable, durable, well, perfect. Today's sponsor, The Perfect Gene, has uncrushed over 700,000 men's parts, let's say, from uncomfortable jeans. These aren't just another pair of stiff cardboard jeans and they're definitely not your saggy sweatpants or joggers. The Perfect Gene makes great looking, perfect fitting jeans that are stretchy as a kangaroo's pouch and hug your assets in all the right places. The special denim fabric is soft as can be and built to last, so it can stay comfortable all day while still looking good, and they have the durability we expect from jeans. So whether you're a thick or short king or anything in between, the perfect jean has you covered. With six fits from skinny to thick, thick waist sizes from 26 to 50, and lengths from 26 to 38, they've got the perfect size for you. 
Trust us when we say these are the perfect jeans. For a limited time, our listeners get 15% off their first order, plus free shipping at theperfectgene.nyc. Just use code MIDAS15 for 15% off. Since the Perfect Gene folks sent me a pair, they've honestly ruined all other jeans for me, so thanks guys, I, I appreciate that. They're super comfortable, I can move around easily, they fit great, and even my buddies have asked about them, and they've then bought their own pairs. Whether I'm out and about or just lounging around, these are the perfect jeans for any occasion. And the perfect jean doesn't just stop there because they've got to do it all. They've revolutionized t-shirts as well now. The perfect tee has just enough stretch to hide that beer belly while accentuating your arms and chest for that flawless look. It's soft as butter and doesn't shrink in the watch like your other tees. It's, well, it's perfect. <laughs> the perfect jean always offers free shipping exchanges and returns, so you could have peace of mind knowing that your order is completely risk-free. It's finally time to stop suffering in uncomfortable jeans by going to theperfectgene.nyc. Our listeners get 15% off your first order, plus free shipping, free returns, and free exchanges when you use code MIDAS15 at checkout. That's 15% off for new customers at theperfectgene.nyc with promo code MIDAS15, M-E-I-D-A-S-1-5. After you purchase, they'll ask where you heard about them. Please support our show and tell them we sent you. Forget your cash and get the perfect gene. That's so good. Hat tip to uh, Brett, who made, my brother Brett was the one who put that uh, video together. It's uh, so well done. All right, so here's the video from the previous night of Lara Trump going on Hannity um, and Hannity speaking to her about President Biden taking drugs and how it's going to be rigged. Here, play this clip. The former president, you know, took on the challenge. I don't think he'll regret it. However, the Joe Biden that we're talking about tonight, I don't think will be the Joe Biden we're going to see on debate night. I think the Joe Biden we see on debate night is going to be the guy that we saw at the State of the Union. He's going to be all hyped up, you know, hyper caffeinated, whatever it is. It's interesting that 70% of the country does like the idea of drug testing. I like the idea. Uh, they do it to athletes. They do it to horses in horse racing. Why not do it to presidential candidates? I like the idea. 70% uh, of Americans apparently agree with me. However, what do you expect for the debate? Yeah, well, this is nothing new, of course. The cards have always been stacked against Donald Trump since the day he came down the escalator to announce he was running for president as a Republican. Here's an interview before that of Lara Trump saying that it's rigged and the whole thing is going to be unfair. Play this clip. Not less, and you're right. It's rigged so heavily in Joe Biden's favor, but everything always is. You've got- Here's Sean Hannity in the previous night whining about uh, in, in as well and saying that President Biden's going to be on drugs. Play this clip. Now, there are some even saying, Mark, that Donald Trump might be wise to just pass on the first debate, wait till he's nominated, then debate him. What would you say to that? Let me just show you a recent speech that President Biden gave. This is President Biden. Stop with the ageist stuff also. Like, when is it acceptable to be ageist and like be discriminating against people who are older? Uh, el elderly people, that's wisdom. Like, we respect our elders. That just, you know, all, all of this is like attacking people of, of President Biden's age. And I just think, I just think it's it's very offensive, like just a very offensive thing to do. But anyway, let, let, let me show you. Here's here's President Biden's speech. Tell me what you think about this speech. Here, play this clip. After a school shooting in Iowa that killed a student and a teacher, my predecessor was asked about it. You remember what he said? He said, have to get over it. Hell no, we don't have to get over it. We got to stop it. We got to stop it and stop it now. Okay, would you rather have that person speaking or would you rather have somebody talking about being electrocuted uh, over being eaten by sharks like this? Play this clip. And it must be because of MIT, my relationship to MIT. Very smart. He goes, I say, what would happen if the boat sank from its weight and you're in the boat and you have this tremendously powerful battery 
and the battery is now underwater. And there's a shark that's approximately 10 yards over there. By the way, a lot of shark attacks lately. Do you notice that? A lot of shark. I watched some guys justifying it today. Well, they weren't really that angry. They bit off the young lady's leg because of the fact that they were they were not hungry, but they misunderstood what who she was. These people are crazy. He said there's no problem with sharks. They just didn't really understand a young woman swimming now really got decimated and other people do a lot of shark attacks. So I said, so there's a shark 10 yards away from the boat, 10 yards or here. Do I get electrocuted if the boat is sinking, water goes over the battery, the boat is sinking? Do I stay on top of the boat and get electrocuted or do I jump over by the shark and not get electrocuted? Because I will tell you, he didn't know the answer. He said, you know, nobody's ever asked me that question. I said, I think it's a good question. I think there's a lot of electric current coming through that water. But you know what I'd do if there was a shark or you get electrocuted? I'll take electrocution every single time. I'm not getting near the shark. So we're going to end that. We're going to end it for boats. We're going to end it for trucks. The truck. So I'm looking forward to the debate. Tell me what you think. Put it in the comments. Is Donald Trump going to back out of the debate? Or is he going to go through with it and then they're going to say that it's rigged? that there was uh, CNN gave the questions in advance. So that, well, what's their scam? The, the, the gag order still in place, that President Biden's on Provigil and Adderall and all these drugs. What do you think is gonna, what do you think is gonna be? Anyway, tell me in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. Hit subscribe. Let's get to 3 million together. Thanks for watching. Enough! Send it to the big house, not the White House. Get the new exclusive tees, mugs, and stickers right now at store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com.